We're going to look at a data log of a Volkswagen T5 1.9 TDI. Uh, we're using this new software to capture our screen, so hopefully we're going to have a lot better resolution what we're going to be able to upload to our site. Uh, we're going to start doing more uh, logs about this as well. So anyway, we'll look at this. Uh, this data log's been done by one of our agents on the road. It's exactly the same data as what we get on Dino. Uh, we've used Fagcom uh, to data log it with. Uh, if we can see, we've got this engine RPM, tube cycle, ZGR, mass sensor, driver's wish, internal ECU torque limiter. Uh, we've got a smoke limiter, which is run off as mass sensor. Uh, and then we've got as as boost here, as requested, as actual, and as duty cycle of the variable vein position. Uh, I'll highlight these to make it easier to look at. So this is a re requested boost pressure. This is what the ECU is asking for. Then we've got as actual pressure, which is measured from the manifold absolute pressure sensor, the MAP sensor. Uh, we've got the duty cycle. This is the position of the variable veins, or what position they should be in. And then we've got a, uh, we've got as uh, engine RPM. So if we look in the lower RPM range, with no boost pressure whatsoever, we can see we're requesting 1.4 bar, uh, and we're only getting 0.3 bar. You always knock a thousand off, which is uh, atmospheric pressure. So what we and then we can see in the higher RPM range, we are actually starting to make boost pressure. So what I suspect with this, it's got a seized turbo and the variable vanes are seized in an open position. That means that low engine RPM, low exhaust gases, it's not able to spool the turbo and high up as the exhaust gases get a lot more, they flow over the turbine and can spool the turbo more. We can use this software as well to look at, uh, look at it easier for you guys to look at. You've got your blue line, which is the requested boost pressure. You've got the red line, which is the actual boost pressure. And then you've got the gray line, uh, which, is the, uh, which is the engine RPM. And this red line should really follow the blue line. And we can see it's massive, massive under boost. So this wants a turbo on 